Welcome back to the theme park wizard and today we have a big update for you on um, not just Halloween Horror Nights, the back lot, and general updates, but Super Nintendo World merch is available and we're gonna go check that out right after all those other updates. Right now let's go check out the Hoffman Pill House and Pandora's Box. Welcome to this week's Universal Studios update. Let's have some fun! As it's a nor another gorgeous Saturday out here, a lot of people, as you can see behind me, streaming towards the theme park. We'll be heading there in a second. Right now, I'm heading towards the Kira Shores parking garage to check on the two mazes on this gorgeous day. Then, we're gonna go inside to check on all the progress at the mazes and the backlog project. And then, we're gonna end our day at the Universal Studio store with uh, touring all that brand new Super Nintendo World merchandise. Very excited to see it. Might even buy a couple of things here or there, so. Very excited for that. Back at the back of the Haunting and Pill House, nothing much has changed here except we got maybe some more parts of the facade right there um, on the ground. Not entirely sure, but again, we have tons of lumber. Look at this. I mean, tons and tons of lumber. Almost enough for like another maze. I don't know where this is all gonna go. If it's gonna go in Haunting of Hill House or Pandora's Box, but this all got lots of stuff here. Speaking of Pandora's Box, the facade's looking good. There's that house facade that was there in 2019. This one's pretty much done. They're just doing some interior work. And as you see, they're still um, adding, chopping up those saw or those lumber pieces at the little cutting board station there, and for some uh, more interior pieces, most likely. Looking at the uh, water roll queue, not much has changed. Assuming this will be Halloween four, we'll find out most likely more information on what this maze is next weekend during. Uh, John Murdy's panel at Midsummer Scream in Pasadena, which is next Saturday and Sunday. We'll be at that panel with uh, 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 the be a Halloween Horror Nights panel. Probably find out the scare zones and this maze and the Terror Tram theme during that time as well. The Terror Tram is being set up as posted by pictures online. <coughs> Sorry to clear my throat there. But yeah, so we'll probably find out the theme of this and Terror Tram and the scare zones all next weekend so stay tuned for that as you do every week checking our wait times here at universal not too bad for saturday at 12 12 10 ish or 12 21 20. i always try to guess the time it's always right there i never <laughs> never remember park is open until 10 p.m today but jasper is only 45 minutes with the mummy hey potter's only 80 and the highest thing is the simpsons which is because it's capacity issues and 100 minutes, which is not really not too bad at all. That only one ride is over 100 minutes right now. Over here at Bride of Frankenstein, we most likely won't see any more changes. This is post likely the finished product, at least in the front. If there's any changes, there'll be uh, some stuff in the interior sections and maybe the back that we can't see. But um, I'm still waiting to see if they'll um, paint that black or fire charge that black the lumber right there because it's still pretty exposed and usually they'll be 100% done when you'll see that become black. But still this is one of my fav favorite facades this year because it looks so cool. Can't wait to see the other finished facades as well. This time you can really tell it's not too busy to stay on a Saturday because usually can, this place is packed. Super silly fun land. Usually you can't really walk in here especially the water park area. There's still kids in there, but usually a lot more people. But yeah, this is pretty wide open. So if you're uh, if you're free, come to the park today. If you're if it's not a block out day. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. If you're not a platinum pass holder, and or you're just not a pass holder at all, um, and you want to see single day tickets, definitely come on some Saturdays that the passes are blocked out. And the last Saturday, the gold pass was blocked out. I feel like today, the passes are the gold and silver are blocked out. Because when those aren't blocked out, 
the park is definitely a lot busier. And you can tell when those are blocked out, it's certainly less busy, not like like empty, but it's certainly a uh, noticeable drop in people uh, because those passes are blocked out. So if you are a single day ticket holder um, and you're looking at what day to come to Universal, sometimes it is good to come on a Saturday if you can't come on a weekday because those on days, those uh, gold and silver passes are blocked out. So definitely check their block out calendars and kind of plan your day around that because it's really not too busy today. Looking at the backlog project, there's lots of grading going on um, for those new sound stages and including some new features right there. Um, maybe to flatten the mountain a little bit. Maybe they're, they're kind of, that's a shine dig. I don't know what those features are. If they mean anything, any construction people, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, they're really starting to really, they're actually really taking this mountain down. Now that I'm looking at it, there's a lot more. And I'll try to do a compare and contrast from last week, but they took a lot more of this mountain down. I mean, like probably, I think the mountain was like right to where that hill was, and now it's gone. That's incredible. They're really working hard on this thing. Um, wow. I mean, at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if they at least got the whole thing graded by Horror Nights. And definitely by the end of Horror Nights, by the Christmas season, they, I feel like they can even start putting the foundations in for the new sound stages, depending on how many there are, at least one of them. Because they are, they are booking it. I love it. Universal's killing it again. This is great. Fantastic. And again, this will allow for a new theme park expansion in the lower lot in a few years. So we'll be watching this very carefully. To get an idea of what the new sound stages will look like, it might look like these, because these are the two new sound stages on the lot. So it might look just like those. Big and modern like that, and allow consolidate space. Over here at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Maze, nothing much has changed. <clears throat> this is probably pretty much done. All you can see is pretty much the back side, and this, is, this was all done last week. Front, I can't see too much. <clears throat> they did add some soundproofing on the fence right there because they do to hide the sound from projections. Might ex this might expand a little bit, but might not because we're not going to the back lot this year for Halloween Horror Nights. All right, let's go check out Super Nintendo World's merchandise update. Cannot wait for this. Introducing Juliet. Our Triceratops. The Triceratops are coming out as soon as they pop. Oh, look, I just right the, the Jurassic World. Here. Oh, and we have the little baby. This is exactly how I wanted to see. The little baby right here. Look at this. Cutie. What a cutie. Absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh. It's a little baby blue. Like, wow. Going. Where's little baby blue going? I don't know, baby blue. I hope she's not going away. Let's stomp our feet, everybody. Ah. Well, here we are in the Super Nintendo Limited Time pop-up, and I feel like it's limited time because 
there's that rumored Nintendo store coming to City Block, the place of Chili's. And I feel like that's where all this stuff will move when that's built out, when that opens, if that does come up. But let's go check out the Super Nintendo World merchandise and let's even go buy a Yoshi or something for my friend. As a reminder, Master required indoors in LA County. That includes Universal Studios Hollywood. And also, they're not required in Orange County, but Disneyland does require them inside. Um, this one looks a little messed up, I'm sorry. But also, just a requirement, I mean, just a, a thought, that if you need a mask, one mask, these masks and many more are free. That's right, free on my website. You can find that in the description box below, themestorewizard.com. Let's go check out this merchandise. So I'm already even seeing this cool stuff in the two-bit graphic. I love it. We got some Goomba, these backpacks, or these just little, little plushes, Goomba plushes, looking all anguish. I feel like I'd, if I bought one of these, I'd just be stepping on them just like Mario does in Super Mario World, Super Mario Brothers. Then we got some Player One and Player Two shirts. These will go well with those Thing One and Thing, Thing One, Thing Two and Three, Thing Three shirts that you can find just over there. Clearly a, a, a take on Mickey's glove from Disneyland parks or Disney parks. This one is a Mario glove, but it almost looks exactly the same. <laughs> nice little way to, um, I, I don't want, I wouldn't say diss Disney, but kind of get at Disney, little play, little Disney, lo uh, Universal loves to do little jokes on Disney. And this could be one of them. But either way, whether it's Mario, Luigi, or Mickey, these gloves are very comfortable. And we come to plenty of plushes. Here's Luigi and Luigi's little pajamas or costume here. How much is this? This is about $60 if you're gonna buy this Luigi um, outfit. The Luigi plush is $30. I feel like all the plushes will be $30 as well. Let's go check out Mario's to see how much he is. So some really cool keychains and according to a team member, this section, everything in black here, is from Japan itself, which is really cool. And when it's gone, though, it's gone. This is the super limited time. He said the rest of the stuff will be here until the land opens in 2022. But this section, just everything in black and everything with Japanese writing, um, when this section is gone, it's gone forever as Japan gave, this, uh, gave them a gift, gave Universal Hollywood a gift for some remaining merchandise. So if you want some of this really cool stuff, like, look at Bowser, I'm gonna have to go get this one. Um, come get it, because again, when it's gone, it is gone. There's just a tiny little part here, and that's it. Here's the entrance, or the, uh, the entrance display. There's a whole bunch of 2D models and some plushes. These are bigger plushes. And these are about $60, yeah, because these are bigger. The smaller plushes are $30, though. Like these guys right here, about $30. Then you have the hats, some cool hats, and some cool Luigi merchandise as well. And of course, then we have a Yoshi plush, which is $20, um, which I'm gonna actually get for my friend. And I got one of these cool, I got the cool um, Japan merchandise because that's pretty, that's pretty awesome right there. But yeah. You got Princess Peach, a whole bunch of plush corner. Again, the small plushes for every character is $30. And then for the larger characters, $60. And again, you actually cannot use your annual pass discounts um, for any of the merchandise at, of Super Nintendo World and some Jurassic World stuff, they said. But you can use your uh, annual pass discounts for anything else in the store, just not for the Super Nintendo World merchandise because they don't want it to get sold out, according to them. Because it's pretty early. There's not much in here. So, except you're paying full price. So, this is, again, this is like $20. This might be $30. $35, so I'm paying $55 plus tax here. No annual pass discount. Um, so just keep that in mind when you come to the store. Lastly, they have some cool Yoshi merchandise. 
bags, shirts. Oh. They have the cloud guy right here, socks, and some plushes, and a massive pajama-like t-shirt. And they have Bowser Jr. The bomb bomb thing. And uh, whatever this guy is. This must be like Villain's Corner right here. There's actual Bowser. Princess Peach Corner. And to celebrate the Mario Kart attraction. Mario Kart Grand Prix. This is to celebrate the upcoming Mario Kart attraction here in Hollywood, as well as the University of Japan. Ours will be opening in 2022. Cool little rabbit ride. Cool little Cool little racing shorts right there, or racing pants right there. And a cool little hat, wait a second. It's a cool little Mario Kart hat right there. And some pins as well. I know most of you watching this video right now already know this, but this is quite telling. The merchandise is quite telling. There's no Yoshi's Adventure merchandise, which again confirms that the Yoshi's Adventure ride is not coming to Hollywood. Oh, it doesn't confirm it, but it points to it because usually they don't want to have attraction merchandise for both attractions. And again, this land still isn't really even announced. Well, they kind of announced it over Twitter and with the sign at the front. But again, they only have Mario Kart merchandise here which means uh, it's highly likely that the Yoshi's Adventure merch is not coming. And also in the Super Nintendo construction updates, we can't, you know, we can't spot any track for that. Anyway, um, they had no Donkey Kong yet, but hopefully we'll get that in a couple years. Right. Well, I purchased my Yoshi and my a Japan exclusive ghost shirt. And it's that one, the Japan shirts were really cool. I highly suggest Again, you come and check them out because they'll be just when they're gone, they're gone. Because that was a gift from Universal Japan. The other stuff will be here till 2022, so when the land opens, and it'll all be moved in there. But yeah, definitely come and check out that Japan exclusive stuff. That's I like the black with the little neon lights. It's, it is very Tokyo like, because like you know Shibuya, Shibuya Square, I think that's what it's called. Like their Times Square at night, it's really like that. You know, a lot of a whole bunch of neon. It's really, really cool. And I like the shirts that are just like that. So, go if you go check those out. That's going to do it for this week's Universal Studios Hollywood update. Stay tuned for the Super Nintendo World Construction update tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll be back next week for some more fun at Universal. Maybe I'll do a full walking tour. Hopefully, we'll get more of the baby raptor, baby blue there. Because uh, because the tail end of her, hopefully we'll get more time with her next week. That's like my favorite little dinosaur pup they have there. But yeah, if you like this video, press that thumbs up. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Share this video with all your friends, especially if they like Super Nintendo World merchandise. And uh, once again, don't forget you cannot use your annual pass discount on the Super Nintendo World stuff, but the rest of the store you can. And that's going to do it for this week's update. As always, have a fantastic day.